So, there has been some debate as to which upgrades are the better ones. Is a Sigma plus one better than a Theta plus three? Is Tau better than Theta and Sigma? I asked these questions myself and when I went looking for an answer I found that not much is out there. Everyone knows the answer, right? When you read the responses they say it with such confidence. Yet, all their answers are different from each other. Something there isn't right. So I did a bunch of field testing with various upgrades that I will show you today and hopefully put an end to any confusion about which upgrades are better. In my last video of 10 tips I did give a tip on this, but I was only partially correct about this particular information. Be sure to check that video out after this one for 10 really nice tips. The first is sprint upgrades. I first tested the sprint without any upgrades just to get a baseline on this really nice pink and green mountain planet that I like. Then I used a Sigma plus one, a Tau plus two, and a Theta plus three. Place your bets. What do you think is the best one? Well, without any upgrades, the sprint is 10.10 .10 seconds. With the Sigma plus one, the sprint lasted an average of 14.49 seconds. The Tau two lasted an average of 15.24 seconds. And finally the winner, Theta plus three with an average of 16.12 seconds. Did you guess right? Maybe you did, but let's be honest, those numbers aren't really that much of an improvement outside of having no upgrades at all. So let's get to the next test I did. So this one is the underwater breathing upgrade. First I tested without any upgrades again and got one minute and three seconds. Next, I used a Sigma upgrade and got an average of 1 minute and 33 seconds. Lastly, I used a Theta upgrade and got an average of 3 minutes and 3 seconds. Huge difference, right? The actual oxygen bar doesn't show up on screen until the equipment's charge is actually depleted, so it's important to make sure the upgrade is fully charged so as to not get mixed results. So when that bar shows up, you have 1 minute and 3 seconds to get back to the surface. I didn't have a Tau upgrade, so let's move on to the last test that I did, which was very interesting. For this last test, I used toxicity suppressor upgrades and stood in an extreme toxic storm on a different planet, timing how long before the hazard suit depleted to absolutely nothing. The interesting thing here is that I have two of the same Tau upgrades for the hazard suit. The only difference is the materials needed to make each of these upgrades. You're probably guessing which one will win, so let's get the numbers out there already, right? This test took a long time because I had to keep waiting for storms to pass by. Very boring. So with no upgrades, I can only stand the storm for 39.84 seconds. Can't get too far from your ship in these conditions, that's for sure. Next up is the Sigma upgrade with a time of 1 minute and 40 seconds. Much better, but still can't leave your ship for too long. Next, I tested one of the Tau upgrades. Let's call them Tau Plus and Tau Minus. I named the next one Tau Minus because the materials needed for this upgrade are easy to come by. Also, spoiler alert, because the Tau Minus upgrade lasted longer than the storm itself, I instead measured how long it took for the charge on the toxic suppressor to last before the hazard suit started to deplete, which was 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Much more of an improvement over the Sigma. We may be able to explore this planet without being attached at the hip to our ship. And finally, Tau Plus. This upgrade requires some pretty rare material, so the time for the Tau Plus's charge to deplete entirely was... Actually, it never depleted. After 3 minutes and 51 seconds, which was me standing in the storm from beginning to end, the Tau Plus still had 40% charge left over. Wow, big difference, right? So what does this all mean? Do we have an answer finally? Of course we do. It means that names of upgrades aren't really that big a deal. And you can pay attention to the number on the upgrade, plus one, plus two, plus three, but it's much more reliable to pay attention to the materials needed to make that upgrade. Here's what's required for the upgrades in the previous tests.
So what if you end up with two Tau upgrades like me that you can't distinguish from because the one you currently have equipped won't tell you what you needed to make that upgrade? Easy. Just save your progress, dismantle that upgrade, and then you can see what it will take to recreate it again. Then compare the both of them. I really hope this helped you out and cleared some stuff up for anybody that might have been confused about this. If you did enjoy it, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.